We continue on section 20.3. Now we are in the last example, 20.3.3. This term is the of 1D Fourier transform. We'll use 3D Fourier transform. And this is an equation of 3D Poisson equation with a delta function source. So this is uh, basically solving the green function. This is equation 20.67. The Laplacian on the green function, and that depends on R and R prime. R prime for now you can treat it like a parameter space R prime because the Laplacian is operated on R only and not R prime. And then the source is a delta function R minus R prime, meaning the source is at how we call the alpine. So alpine is our location of the source, so treat it like a vector parameter. Okay, now we will um, introduce Fourier transform. So for this uh, green function, capital G will introduce the uh, Fourier transform as a little g and we transform in the R space, and so it will be transformed to a wave vector k, and then keeping the R prime, and that is defined as so one over two pi to the three half spatial integration of the green function R R pi e to the i k dot r dqr so that is the usual three-dimensional uh, free transform now the um, we know that the laplacian transformation of laplacian is uh, very simple so that is basically equation by 20 50 20.53 implied uh, a Laplacian of F for your transform is just basically multiplied by minus k square of the Fourier transform of F. Okay, so, so the left hand side is straightforward to do the Fourier transform. Now the right hand side is a delta function and the free transform of delta function is basically, so basically a delta function. We are transform, this is a 3D delta function, so you need to be a little careful. So this is equals to one over two pi, three half, and integrating over this r minus r prime delta function e to the i k dot r t q r all right so that uh, fully transform is uh, straightforward because it's just a delta function and so that uh, you can evaluate the uh, basically it's just e to the i k dot r pi divided by two pi. So you have basically evaluated the integral with r equals to r pi. So that is uh, the Fourier transform of the right hand side. And Fourier transform of the left hand side is minus k squared times g. So then you can solve for g. So g k r prime will be equals to just the, the Fourier transform of the right hand side, this one divided by k square, and actually minus k, uh, minus k square because Fourier transform here will give you minus k square, so it's minus e to the i k dot r prime divided by 2 pi 
pi three half k square. Okay, so that is uh, the Fourier transform of the solution, the Fourier transform of the Green function. Now the Green function can be obtained by the inverse Fourier transform. G L L pi will be given by so one over two pi. So you have I in put this G in the integration. And e to the minus i k dot r t q of k. Okay, then you can substitute this into here. So equals to and substitute this into here. You have negative um, one over two pi cube integrate. Now you have a uh, e to the i k dot r pi minus r, okay, and then divided by k square t cube k of k so one integral over the k space, okay. So now this one looks like a free transform of just one of a k square and we did that before okay so uh, that is uh, in equation 20.42 so 20.42 give you a um, Fourier transform of one over R is basically one over two pi three half power four pi four over k square. Okay. So now the, we have k square here. Okay, and then uh, we have the the Fourier transform, except that now Fourier transform will give you instead of dot r, you have dot r prime minus r. So uh, you need to convert that to the, instead of the r is basically the vector length, the length of the vector r. So that's changed to the length of a vector r prime minus r, or r minus r prime, it doesn't matter because it's the length. And now you, you need to get the constant correctly, okay? So, uh, so basically this is uh, uh, the Fourier transform, or the, you can say that the inverse Fourier transform of this one will give you uh, one of all. Okay, the inverse and the inverse Fourier transform is uh, uh, this one. So multiplied by the square root of one of a. So, or you can say this is uh, this g. Let's write it like a inverse Fourier transform as equals to. Uh, one over square root of one over two pi to three half power and integrate. So putting this, uh, splitting that to two parts of your minus one over two pi three half power. Now you have k square and e to the i k dot r. If you are doing the uh, inverse Fourier transform, you change that to minus r minus r pi t q of k. Okay, so that in, in the form of the 
inverse Fourier transform, and we know that the inverse Fourier transform of this will give you one over all, so that uh, this will give you uh, this you multiply four pi and divide it by four pi, so and then you have a negative sign, so negative one over four pi and one over r become one over r, one over magnitude r minus r pi. Okay, so that would be the form of the solution, which is the green function. Okay, and that is uh, solved by this Poisson equation with a delta function source. And so, and that would be the solution and the correct green function for the Coulomb problem or the, the uh, Poisson equation. Okay, so that is uh, all the examples. And finally, for this section, there's some discussion on the application of Fourier transform, and you can read that for yourself. And next time, we'll move to uh, section 20.4.